master using connections so that there's going to be a flow to your hypnotic language. The and the and, own, and as right, are linkages. okay, but the linkages, the connection should not be only and as, and as, and as. It's a great starting place to do never-ending sentences that will create a cascade into trans. Some people might not even know what you mean, though, Well, maybe right? you and could then, elucidate that. Right. Well, I have a sip of this perfectly ordinary coffee. Yeah, so actually, I'll make sure that in the show notes, we have a link to our NUVI course. NUVI just stands for Nominalization Unspecified Verb Induction. Free 45-minute course. You can just sign up for it. And this will give you more. What, what are you laughing? Still laughing that you said self-confessed. Yeah, self-confessed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, so Nuvi course, you can sign up for free. Basically, in the Nuvi model, you're using nominalizations, which are nouns you can't fit in wheelbarrows. So coffee cup that you've got beside you there, that is a noun you could put in a wheelbarrow. Obo, and in theory, in yeah, if you have a large enough wheelbarrow, you could put that, put a, a house a or an elephant. Yeah, anything, anything you can, yeah. you can always just say, like, if you can reach out and physically touch something, right. it's a big not enough wheelbarrow. a nominalization. Exactly. But you cannot put love or friendship you can put a friend. You, try. you can put a friend in a wheelbarrow. Yeah, but you maybe shouldn't. Yeah, not but you can't put it. friendship in a wheelbarrow, and you can't put connection. You can't put learnings. You mm. can't put understandings. You can't mm. put motivation. All of these things are nominalizations. And similarly, we have this idea of unspecified verbs. Verbs that you don't really specify how something is done. So if I say that you can transform. Yeah, that's a verb. It's it's interesting to consider how you can transform an experience from something that used to be perceived as a negative and realize in an interesting way that it's actually something that's changing your life for the better. Whatever. That's just You've a really good at this. Oh, stuff. thank well, you, buddy. I had a good teacher. Doing this now. How many years? Uh, 25. Are you serious? More. Yeah. More. How, how many years have you been actually trained? Oh. Not, not the fiddling about the Early 2000. I trained with you in early 2000 the first time. So you've so, got 20 years on it. Yeah, about, yeah, we're probably coming up on 20 years since I oh, first man. did a class with you, which is a long time, right? That's fantastic. I've been doing hypnosis for, since I first got interested in hypnosis, which we talked about, I think, in episode 144. Yeah. Sorry, 170. This is 177. Seven. 174. Or I think was the story of how we got started. Yeah, and the I entire talk, podcast, yeah. the one I didn't okay. really need to right, be present. Right, the one that you didn't talk in, right? <laughs> <laughs> didn't need to be present at all. You just lied So down. I've, yeah, probably, tw 20, probably 26 years I've been interested in and sort of doing hypnosis, but really doing for like 20. Like 20, yeah. And seriously, anyway, yeah. Yeah, and it doesn't take that, by the way, not full time in any way for most of that time. So don't think you have to spend 20 freaking years doing this to get very good at it. Oh, you can get boy, very good sure at hypnosis very fast yeah. by following good models. Anyway, back well, to newbie. Just, just an addition there. I, I said just, I caught it from you now. You just, it's, like, it's like a disease. In my mind, Chris, no one should even call himself a hypnotist unless they yeah. have at least 50 years practice. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so least. I want to go back to newbie though. So Do it. what are linkages? There, there are ways that you link snippets of language to other snippets of language so that you can keep talking. And I'll give you an example. We'll just use the and as. So right. and as you keep talking, mm. it's easy to continue in your unconscious, knowing what's coming next is never something that's obvious to you until it happens. Yeah. And when it happens, and as you continue to talk and draw someone into the experience of what you're saying so that they can go inside and really think about what matters to them. Mm -hmm. And as they think about whatever, you get the idea that yeah. and as, and as, and as. If you do that in a conversational manner, it gets a bit weird, right? <laughs> yeah. So you, if you were just, and as you focus on that next, next, that next thought or that next job that you're going to go to. And as you focus on that job opportunity that you're considering, and as you wonder whether that's the right career for you, yeah. you can completely develop a plan for your life that's amazing. And as you realize that your life is so amazing, it gets weird, right? Uh, yeah. It doesn't back. sound <laughs> conversational. Yeah. So we can say, and mm -hmm. it's easy to consider how. The, the, there's so many ways we can connect. Let's just do well, I've some. Got a, I've got mm -hmm. a list of some of these mm -hmm. here. Um, the causal statements too. Find and use causal statements. And if is a great one. Mm -hmm. And if you listen more carefully, you'll sink even deeper into mm -hmm. trance. Because, because is a terrific one. Because it's a natural thing to it go into trance. It implies causation. It? Right. And, you, and remember, we said that we we're going to tie this into real world stuff, not just hip, just, see? Well done. It. That's good. Not just hypnosis yeah. stuff. So because, what was I just saying? Because it's um, oh, not because, just hypnosis stuff. You know, it, because it's easy to slip into trance would be something we might say to a hypnosis student or 
uh, subject, client, client, yeah, client, client, yeah, because it's natural to sometimes feel some hesitation. And yet, when you overcome that feeling, a new wave of success is upon whatever. Sure, it could be, you know, but when you think back over all the things mm -hmm. you've done well over the years, you can probably find that mm -hmm. you have the skills to get out of this situation. Right. And that's conversationally hypnotic. Yes. And like Freddie Jackman would do that kind of because thing. Because not you know? everything yeah. that we're doing, we're aiming the the newbie, which we really call the training wheels or practice exercise sure. yeah. of trance, because you have to aim at a problem. The language still has to be aimed at a specific yeah. problem. So if the problem is I need to get this client to go into a trance, you're going to be using language like, and it's easy to just take a deep breath now and relax and right. go into a trance. But we're going to also use the same kind of pattern when we're offering suggestions or doing guided imagery or taking people through change work where we're not doing deepening. We're not saying, and you're going into a deeper right, trance. Right. We're, we're actually just working with their brain at that point and helping them overcome the problem. Correct. And so if you're doing conversational hypnosis, you basically skip all the formal trance induction stuff. You never mention trance. It just happens. Yes, just language. happens. Right. Just happens. You said just. It just good. happens. We'll check the video later. I think I've solved yep. the problem. Well, don't be. <laughs> just Hey, don't, don't be, be rushing. <laughs> Sounds to me like someone's getting too big for his britches. Remember, you're still <laughs> just, just Danny. Danny. Now, look, oh. um, and when implies that there's going to be a causation. And yet, mm -hmm. and yet is one of my favorites. Yeah. Guys, use this it one. Causes it causes the reconsider. Reconsideration. Mm -hmm. So if someone is telling you they're complaining, you know, this happened and this happened and, and you know, my family, this and that, you just pause and you say, and yet, and then you offer the alternative, like we have in these amazing oh. hypnosis cards, which we it, developed. We didn't copy Zebu, we didn't copy salad cards or any. We, we may have got the idea from them, though. Well, of course, yeah, yes, but course. we reverse engineered them for we're the We're not that brilliant that we thought, we're not the first person in the well, world I to am. think, hey, we <laughs> should do hypnosis <laughs> well, cards. No, but we reverse engineered. We used our own patterns. Oh, we of didn't course. copy yeah. anyone else's patterns. So MikeMandelHypnosis.com forward slash cards, if you're on the audio or on the YouTube video, it doesn't matter, and you're interested in, in the hypnotic language cards, which have all kinds of snippets of language that help you use this, whether you're a therapist or whether you're just an average person looking to become better than average. Yes. That's right. And they come at now, if you order now, you'll get them in these wonderful decorative red boxes.